Hi guys, welcome to Dead Man's Vapes. I'm Gaz, and today we're looking at the Vupu Drag Mini. This little beast. Really nice resin colour, as you'd expect from these Vupu kits now. Um, now the kit itself, you might have seen one of the first videos that I did um, reviewing kits. I did the Vupu Drag, the original one with the jean chip in there absolutely fantastic kit it very quickly became my favorite dual battery mod and it still remains high up on my list um now they brought out the drag 2 and the drag mini uh following the success of the drag they've had mixed reviews um i've seen mixed reviews uh from different youtubers uh some good some bad it, it's one of them you make your own mind up to it um now these set of videos, I've got the I'm doing the Vupu Drag Mini now. I'm going to be doing the Drag Two in a few days. Um, now the Drag Mini, as you can see, quite small. Um, it's it's a nice kit. And when we look at the kit itself um, in detail, I'll bring up the um, Drag Two as well, so you can compare those. Um, but this one has uh, an integrated battery, four thousand four hundred milliamps. So you do have to charge it through your charging port on the bottom there. Um, but it's still a large battery um it's going to last you a good day depending on what tank you're using on there uh, and you've got that central firing pin on there as well which um allows it to accommodate a lot larger tanks um the the kit itself it's a lot lighter than the original drag um especially because it's not got those removable batteries in there um but usual settings uh still that got that gene chip that's in there um but we'll have a close look at the kit itself So here we have the Vupu Drag Mini. So if we look at your box contents first, you've got one Drag Mini 117 watt TC times one, one Jean Chip card, one user manual, one warranty card. So simple as, so if we get rid of that. So this is your Drag Mini. Nice shape to it. A little bit more rounded um, and less aggressive is a term I would use um, than the original Drag. Um, you've got these nice resin panels as well. Each one's a little bit different. And uh, you've got nice clear screen on there as well. Now, if we compare it to, as I said before, the Drag 2. That's the Drag 2. So, again, very, very similar in terms of styling um, and uh, everything like that. You've got the central firing pins on both of them, uh, 510 thread. But as you can see, there is a considerable size difference between the two the drag 2 takes two 18650s but we'll go into all that in the drag 2 video um but the drag mini has an integral 4400 milliamp battery and if you compare them both to the original drag and um, the original drag's a lot bigger as you can see these corners are a lot more aggressive on the original drag you've got a smaller screen as I said before, this is one of my all-time favourite dual battery mods. Um, and it's something I still use to this day almost every day. Absolutely fantastic. Now, if we get rid of these two. So, as I said, 4,400 milliamp integrated battery. Meaning you charge it through the USB port on there. Um, that is likely to last you a full day. Um, maybe even two days, depending what tank you're using on there. If you use a, a, a standard mouth draw tank, um, so something with an atomizer around about one ohm or above, um, you're going to get a good two days out of that battery. You use a rebuildable on there and you do an RDA at something like 0.1, you're likely to get about half a day use out of it. As I said um, from the box contents, it's got 117 watts um, to cope with, so there's plenty of power there to fire an RDA um, or an RTA or an RDTA. You've got the smaller size, it's a lot lighter than the other drag models, um, and it's very, very easy to use as well. So on your screen, first thing we come up with is this fit mode. Now this is a new mode that Vupu have introduced into the new um, drag series. Basically, fit one. Um, that optimises the performance of your sub on tanks um, to combat the battery life. So with Fit 1, you get a lot better of a battery life, but you get a little bit less vapour and less flavour from your tank. Fit 2 is designed to get uh, more flavour from your kit. Um, so it sacrifices a bit of battery life and a bit of the vapour reduction, but the flavour, the performance outweighs anything else. 
and the three optimizes it for vapor so you might not necessarily get the best uh, flavor or a good batch of life but you'll produce a tremendous amount of vapor press your big button three times you swap it into power mode so as i said you got from five watts up to 117 watts to adjust using your up and down buttons three clicks again and you get into your temperature control menu so dead simple to use Press and hold the plus and minus together. And this brings up your different modes. So you've got TC when you're in temperature control mode. You've got your memory settings, so TCR modes basically. You can set the resistance of your atomizer and you can swap between Fahrenheit and Celsius as well. Now if we just click that, we'll go back to TC mode. Now three clicks and wait for that and then three clicks into wattage mode do the same again and you get the interface for the wattage mode so again wattage memory modes and here you can get your serial number and your version of your um, firmware on there as well which tell me 1.0.0.2 back to w wattage mode as i said very very nice kit it it, it is on the weighty side um compared to some of the other um sort of integrated batch kits if you compare it to oh, i'm trying to think of one off the top of my head here um compare it to something like the ice stick noos um the one that i've done a review on pre previously same size battery 4400 milliamps but the noos is a lot lighter of a kit a lot sleeker of a design this has got what i term as an aggressive design it appeals to somebody like me i like these heavier mods these more aggressive styles um something like this i'm not bothered about dropping it and um, i'm not bothered about scratching it a bit getting it a bit uh, rough and ready it, it doesn't matter to me with something that's got this kind of look to it i think it adds to the charm of it um, whereas if i was to drop something like the ice stick notice and scratch the screen on it i would be absolutely devastated and um, so that is a positive for me like i say you've got this bigger screen as well compared to the the original drag and um, which was probably something that i would have suggested um moving forward from the original drag um all honesty i do still prefer the original drag over the drag mini pure because i'm not the biggest fan of internal batteries i prefer having that removable aspect to it so if my charging port breaks i can still charge my batteries and um, i can rotate my batteries you get a little bit more power from the the dual batteries but this is fantastic for somebody that is looking um to find something with no settings to adjust like and fit settings that are on there with the new um gene chip that is fantastic for somebody that wants something very very simple you want to stick a sub ohm tank on there bang it in fit settings you can choose between battery life flavor or vapor so that is a very very nice feature that they've added to these um the battery life as i said for someone using a mouth draw tank it is absolutely brilliant um, even for somebody using a, a sub ohm tank around 0.3 ohms something like that again you're going to get a day out of it and it's absolutely fantastic and um, so it's definitely one that i'd recommend for pretty much anybody and um, it's slightly more in depth and more complicated than other um, variable wattage kits that you can get out there and um, so potentially for a new vapor it might not be the best idea and um, but all the instructions are very very simple to follow it tells you everything you need to do on there so again that is very simple um, but for somebody that is sort of venturing into vaping a little bit more wanting the bigger battery life um, or even somebody that is an existing vapor really avid vapor into the higher end kits wants something as a backup and um, that is going to be good quality and um, internal battery not messing about with the removables this is a fantastic kit to go for it is one that i would definitely recommend over quite a lot of um, internal battery mods um, purely because i love the the drag one so much i've been using this both with um i've had a namora nse tank on there with the 1.3 ohm coil in there as you know one of my favorite ws coils um and it's been lasting a good day and a half two days um i've also been using it with my um geekbait blitzen on their rta and um, 0.15 ohm build in there um no it's not i apologize it's a 0.25 ohm build in that one um, and i've been getting a good three quarters to a full day use out of that battery 
So it is brilliant. I mean, the NSE tank I've been running at about 13, 14 watts. The Blitz and RTA I've been running at around about 60 to 70 watts. Um, so you've got plenty of option with that battery life. And that central 510 pin on there, like I said, it can accommodate the larger tanks without looking out of place or um, sort of being top heavy or anything like that. So this is one that I would definitely recommend. As always, down in the description below, I'm going to link up the website for Tech, the electronic cigarette company. They sell this kit, the Voo Voo Drag Mini. Um, and they sell all the bits you need to go with it as well, your tanks, your coils, things like that. Uh, if you put everything in your basket, get to your checkout, use code DMV20, you'll get 20% off all fully priced items. I'm also going to link up the Facebook and the Instagram for Dead Man's Vapes. Um, I'm constantly posting things on there. Uh, videos pictures tricks tips things like that so you can check them out follow the pages give them a share uh, leave me any comments on the pictures whatever you want um, any messages it's always much appreciated you could also hit that big subscribe button down below and hit the little notification bell you'll get any notifications um, whenever i upload a video um, so again that would be massively appreciated gonna crack on we'll do the the drag two next so it's one to look forward to something i've been looking forward to for a while I'm going to crack on, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.